Yo, 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 what is up, guys? It's your boy. I'm explicit with another video. Hopefully, you guys are all having a fantastic day today. Now, today, I am bringing you guys a settings video, okay? I'm sure a lot of people, you know, with all the videos that I've been dropping, uh, that I've been dropping, and, you know, other people I've been dropping as well, other YouTubers, um, I'm sure you guys want to, you know, have the upper edge on other, you know, players on public matches on the beta. So, um, yeah, so it's a settings video real quick. Um, let's get right into it because I know you guys want to know my settings and all that. And real quick before we get started with everything, quick disclaimer. Keep in mind, this is what works for me and the majority of players. Um, most players, uh, you know, Pub Stompers as well, they use... Uh, either the same exact settings or around the same exact settings. So it works for the majority of players, which means it might work for you, but it might not. So if you use this, uh, these settings and they aren't working for you, you simply can't just adjust. Um, then don't use them. Use whatever you are comfortable with, all right? So just quick disclaimer to start the video off, all right? Keep that in mind, guys. It won't work for everyone, but it will work for the majority of people playing the beta, okay? All right, so... Um, first of all, the horizontal and vertical stick sensitivity. By the way, if you guys can hear rain in the background, it is pouring outside in Florida. I'm telling you, Floridian weather is crazy. Anyways, um, yeah, 8-8, eight, eight, um, horizontal and stick, uh, so high. Uh, ADS stick sensitivity on low zoom and high zoom, uh, is point ninety. Now, that basically allows you to track your enemies easier. Um, so when you're ADSing... And you see someone and they're you know running across your screen, uh, your screen, and you, you know your uh, your aim assist kicks in. You're gonna be able to aim down sights and basically track that uh, enemy, f uh, you know, more like flowingly. You get what I'm saying? With more flow, you won't be you know going left, or right, shooting around their body. You're gonna be able to track them way better, way more smoothly. And uh, yeah, same thing with snipers. Point ninety. That way, when you aim down sights and you're trying to hit a snipe. You don't just go everywhere, it, you know, it's a little bit, you know, slowed down. So you can just, you know, move your analog as much as you want, but still be a little bit slower so you're still more accurate. So uh, I recommend point ninety on the low and the high. Now, the button layout, I play on tactical. Personally, I've been a tactical player for a long, long time, ever since COD goes. So this is honestly up to you. Um, I recommend stick and move, uh, tactical, Anything, man. Honestly, bumper jumper, anything but default. Because if you play default, you are honestly like in a really, really big disadvantage. Um, so yeah, anything but default, I'd say on the button layout. Um, now all these don't really matter. I don't play uh, flipped. You can play flipped if you want. This is another one of those cases. Um, this is uh like gameplay. This is mostly for like the um like the twelve v twelve domination game mode, which I really don't ever touch much. Uh, like that attack vehicle control mode, blah, 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 that steady aim behavior, you know, just things that you honestly shouldn't mess around with, um, but I, I don't know, if you want to mess around with these settings, you know, you can experiment, but I've, I've already tried it, and I think this, you know, you shouldn't touch anything on this category, so, um, on to advanced, now this part is really important, because I believe that right when you start your game up, it's at like 598, or 599, and that one makes a difference, okay? So, uh, your left and your right minimum input is what we're going to go through uh, first. Threshold. This basically means, like, how much, like, you have to move your uh, your analog uh, on the left and the right analog to get any sort of response from, you know, the game, the controller. You know, it's going to pick up that you're actually moving your character or moving your aim around, okay? So, you want this to either be, you know, at 5... 10 max, I, I recommend 5, which is default, um, because as they say in the, um, you know, like, as they say in the instructions, anything below 5 might be weird, because, like, you know, if you have controller drift, blah, 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 it'll literally just, your character will move for no reason uh, at all times, so, um, I, I left that at 5, um, and this one is also really important, the left stick max input threshold, um, I, I put it on 100, like I said, I believe it comes, uh, at like 99 or 98, but I, I kept mine at 100, because what that basically does is basically the complete opposite, okay, it's, uh, how much input you need on your right or left analog to fully get the input, if that makes any sense, so, like, let's say you're, like, trying to, let's say, I don't know, a trick shot, okay, um, well, you know, trick shotters, they would want it to be on 100, because, uh, you know, right when you go left to, like, spin or whatever, 
You want, you know, your controller to pick up every single movement right from the second that you, you know, press left or right, whatever, on your right analog, right? So, that's basically what that does. You want to keep that on 90 or above, I'd say. That way, when you, you know, you're, let's say, turning on people or just, you know, really tough gunfights, um, you want to be able to get as much, like, input from the controller and the game as possible. So that's what that does. You want that to be on at least 90, like I said. I would recommend 100. That's what I use on 100. Now, everything else, um, auto sprint, controller sounds, auto move forward. I wouldn't recommend auto move forward. Some players do use auto sprint. I, I personally don't use auto sprint because I kind of, you know, I, I don't want to sprint the whole time. Um, sprint behavior, go to, basically means, you know, when you, when you, when you, uh, press down the left analog, you run, when you press off, you don't run, um, if you hold, it's different, and you can just hold, and it's kind of like an auto run type thing as well, right, so, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put hold on, um, I would just put go to, uh, sprint cancels reload, now, this is a very, very interesting one, um, some people, like I said, it all depends, like, th this whole section, it all depends on you right here, um, some people like it enabled to, like, sprint, cancel, reload. But in this game, you can uh, 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 reload, cancel just by YYing, like in any other Call of Duty. So, if you're one of those players, like, you don't YY, you know, you don't really like messing around with stuff like that, and you just prefer to run to cancel your reload, then make sure you enable this. But if you're not, and you're just like me and other players, just keep that disabled. And then the equipment behavior, it is also a hold, basically just, you know, hold down or toggle to throw a nade, flash, stim, whatever you're using, alright? So, um, so those are all my settings on controller, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new, alright? Um, hopefully, hopefully the settings work for you guys, alright? Hopefully they really do work for you guys as well as they work for me and other people and other pub stompers and YouTubers, alright? So, um, peace out, YouTube. See you guys next, uh, next time, and, uh, yeah, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out, boys.